If you've ever been curious how fast your RC is, or maybe how many miles you drove when you went out and did some crawling, then we have something that might help you out. This is the Sky RC GPS speed meter and data logger. Uh The Sky RC speed meter is a GPS connected device. So this thing is something that you would put in your RC car and it will record your current speed. It will record your max speed. It will record the total trip that you took. So how many miles you were out driving. It'll also record the altitude and the max altitude that it hit. The device also will give you your GPS uh, coordinates. So like your longitude and latitude, latitude, latitude. The device will also give you your GPS or GNSS coordinates. So your longitude and latitude coordinates. So SkyRC recommends that you just use some Velcro to strap on the back of this device and then you can just stick that right on your model. It's best to have the device somewhere on the top of the model. The GPS signal, there's an antenna right here, will go through glass and plastics, but it will not work through conductive metals. So included inside the packaging, there is a USB and mini USB cable. This is how you would connect uh, the device to your computer and transfer the data, as well as charge the device. It needs to be charged through this cable. There's also some instructions. And then lastly, our device is in here with some protective film over the LCD display, which you can peel off. Then on the back of the device, we have have a removable battery so we can take off the little lid here and there is a 200 uh, milliamp one cell lipo that provides about two hours of use on the device and then going around the device there are some uh, physical buttons here there's a mode button an enter button and then a power button on the side there's also a little uh, servo port where I believe you can use this as a servo tester over here is our micro USB port to charge and then for the data logging uh, transferring. And there's also a little um, like a strap place where you could put like a wrist strap or something. You can attach it right there on the side. The whole device is pretty small and lightweight. It weighs about 45 grams in total. And then its physical dimensions are about 65 millimeters by 39 millimeters and then 21 millimeters thick. SkyRC says that the update frequency on the device is 10 hertz, so that's 10 times per second. Though by default it comes at one hertz, it can be changed by using the data logging software, which you'll have to download from SkyRC. So once you get that software on your computer, it can be used on a Windows 7 and up, and then on um, a Mac as well. Uh, in the software though, that's where you would change the one hertz to 10 hertz. And then I think there's a few other steps in between. Although one thing to note that there is built-in memory which saves all that data. The instruction says 1M flash memory. I believe it's one megabyte. Uh, but the 10 hertz will take up more data space than the one hertz. So if we turn this guy on, it's gonna to wanna to initialize and connect to the satellites in the upper left hand corner. It will show a satellite icon once it's done that. So first we're shown our time and then I'm just gonna go through the menus by hitting the mode button up here. So this is our miles per hour, our speed. Let's see, is that our, this is just our current speed I believe. And then that's our peak speed. So the little, there's little icons kind of up here that show peak speed, if that's coming through. So right now this is our average speed that we would be hitting. Now your average speed is calculated also by the time that you're sitting idle. So if your truck is just sitting around not moving a whole lot, that's gonna affect your average speed if you're trying to find a legitimate speed. So let's toggle through here really quick. So there's our altitude. Oh, we've connected to the satellite. You can see in the upper left corner, so Chico is at about 197 feet above sea level. We'll see where we get. So let me scroll through. So this is our peak altitude now. So this is the highest point that we've hit. So far is 147 and climbing. And now here's our trip. So our total distance that we've gone. Of course we haven't moved. So there's our longitudinal location currently where I'm sitting. And then 
Um, the other coordinate, I may have them mixed up. And then our time, um, which I don't believe is set correct. Oh, maybe it is. Let's keep going. So I'm back to the speed right now. I'm just gonna show you if we hold down the mode button, we can go to kilometers per hour and hold the mode button again, go back to miles per hour. So let's scroll through and see what our altitude was set at. Okay, so 226, 223. That's pretty darn close. So if we're out driving, we wanna record our drive, we just hit the enter button. And now it says it's recording, it's recording. When you're done and you are finished wanting to log your data, you just hit the enter button one more time and that stops the recording. So to test the speed meter, we strapped it onto the Arma Creighton. We just used some Velcro right here on the back to attach it to the wing and it stayed on there really well. We bashed the truck a little bit and the meter did go flying. It didn't hurt the meter, um, but you could attach this on with a few zip ties and that would hold it on a lot better. So our intentions when we went out were not to like break any speed records, but we just wanted to get some data and see how this Sky RC speed meter stacked up to our Bushnell Speedmaster 3. This is the speed gun that we've been using all along to test all of our speed runs um, and it's worked really well. So with our belted sweep tires on our Creighton, we went out and did a few passes and we were getting about 45 and 44 miles per hour. Now what we notice is that the Sky RC speed meter reported speeds about one mile an hour lower than what our speed gun was reporting. There we go. Got 45 here. Yep. Now, one thing that's interesting, when we were out there doing those speed runs, this device was always showing about one mile an hour faster. But when we would look at the log data on the computer, it shows you the speed down to the hundreds of a mile an hour, in our case for miles per hour. So when this was reporting, the truck doing about 44 miles an hour, the data logging software was showing it hit about 44.9 something miles per hour. So the device was not rounding up, although it was close enough it could have been. So realistically, our truck was sh doing 45 miles an hour. For all we know, the Bushnell was rounding up as well when it was also recording 44.9. I don't know, but it was displaying 45 and this was showing 44, but the two speeds were really similar once you actually look at the data logging software. The remaining data on that logging software is really neat. It's, there's a lot of great information in there, especially when you look at the map. So there are a few different ways to look at the map. You have bird's eye, you have satellite. Um, there's also just the regular uh, street view of a map, I guess, not Google Street View, uh, but it will give you your route. Uh, it shows you the top speed that you hit. It shows you the altitude. Um, and then it also gives you the total distance that you took with your trip. But the data logging software is really nice to use and it's a huge bonus to add on to this already cool device. Downloading the software was really easy. The instructions gives you a URL that takes you to the SkyRC site to download the software. And installing it was pretty easy. The machine that we installed that software uh, on was a Windows 10 64-bit uh, machine and there were no problems with downloading, installing, and getting the software to work. Essentially, once you just plug in the device through that USB cable on your computer, uh, it's just kind of picked up through the software and you just hit the button that says connect now or read now or something, and then it just transfers all the files. Once it's taken out of the package, the battery will need to be charged up and then for that data logging software, it will need to be downloaded and installed. But other than that, this thing was pretty darn cool to use and fun to just mess around with. 
Uh, maybe in the future we'll stick it in a crawler so we can log our path of where we went, our altitudes we hit, and then lastly, how many miles we went overall because having that log data is a lot better to show to friends than just talking about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video on the speed meter from SkyRC. If you have any questions on this or anything else, please leave it down below. And if you'd like more info, we'll have some links down below for you as well. I'm Brett from A-Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching.